So I decided that for my next one make, I want to make Berta 6067. I actually want to make view A, which the model is wearing here in this view. I really like the fact that there is some type of gathering going on on one of the sides. I think it's just one side. So this is really like very simple turtleneck, long sleeve with some gathers on the side. So I thought that that would be really cute. I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It is a rib knit that has a two-way stretch. I love the color, it's just so vibrant. And then I purchased some thread to match. So there are only six steps to making this top. And step number six does say that you are to lay some shearing elastic on the side seams, plural. So I guess both sides of the top will be gathered. I looked through my elastics and I did find this elastic thread, which is really, really thin. And you are supposed to lay the elastic thread on the seam and then zigzag over it and then pull the elastic and knot it at the end. And that is supposed to create the gathers. Now the package here says that the shearing and the smocking are to be done on lightweight fabrics with this elastic thread. And this knit fabric does not seem to be quote unquote lightweight. So I hope that this elastic thread will be enough or strong enough to create the gathers that are needed. So I just finished cutting out all my pattern pieces and I pressed them. Someone did ask me why I press my pattern pieces. The pattern has little creases in it and I just want to get all the creases out just to make sure the pattern is as straight as possible when I'm cutting everything out. The sleeves on Berta patterns are usually too long for me. So what I did do was I cut two inches off the bottom of the pattern hem. And hopefully I didn't cut too much because I didn't measure it. So we will see. This is what Berta uses to show how the pattern pieces are to be laid out. They just put it on tissue paper instead of on your printed directions. I decided to stop by Joanne Fabrics to pick up some elastic that was just a little bit thicker than the one that I was planning to use. As I was cutting out the fabric, something just kept telling me that that shearing elastic was going to be way too thin to create the gathers on the side of the top. So I ended up finding some cord elastic that I think is going to work much, much better. So now I feel way more confident going into making this project. Oh, and by the way, I was having fun with the cashier. We were chatting about YouTube. So this is the round cord elastic that I picked up. And it is a lot thicker than this one here. So I think it will work much better. And I'll open it so that I can show you just how it stretches. I think that this is going to work much better than this little guy. So here is the elastic in the side seam and you are supposed to pull it until it measures approximately seven inches. So I think this worked out pretty well. Now I just need to do the other side. So I put knots on the end of each elastic piece and then I want to show you what it looks like on the other side because I think it's super cute. 
So I finished the top and I am excited to share it with you. I'm actually taking a road trip to Northern California. I'm going to the Fresno area and I thought it was perfect to put on my jacket, my shirt jacket, Simplicity 9388. I believe that's the pattern number. So yes, I will show you the top and then I went shopping yesterday. I went to Joanne Fabrics and I picked up two patterns so I will share those with you also. So we just made it to our hotel room and I just decided to come in here and record because the lighting is much better in here than it is in the room. And I think we're about to go back out. I want to go to the store and get some snacks to have in the room. But I grabbed the top so that you can see it and I'll show you what it looks like on. Now when I am sewing knit, I really like to use my serger, but because I was going to have to put elastic in the side seam, I had to consciously remember not to serge the seams, especially on the side. But I just decided to just not use the serger at all so that I wouldn't make a mistake and end up serging the side seams closed. So that's just something to keep in mind if you decide to make this top is that you don't want to serge the side seams because you won't be able to put the elastic in between. So the two patterns that I picked up are McCall's 8256 fabric. I really like the top that the model is wearing and I also like View A which is more of like a tank top. The next one, this is McCall's 8261. I really love jumpsuits in general and so when I saw this one view B I was like oh I want that so yes I love that jumpsuit so these are the only two McCall's patterns that I picked up from the sale so before I go I want to leave you with a love share about an app that I just learned about this app allows you to send the cutest text messages to people it is called Hi, what is it called? Actually, let me go get my phone so I can see what it's called because I can't remember. Okay, so I looked it up. Here it is, Hi Note. That's what it's called. So yes, Hi Note is so nice and I have found myself just sending messages to people for no reason. Just hey i sent a message to my husband and then i was like did you get my text did you get my text because i wanted him to see how different the text message was and it's so nice because you can just go in pick the one that you want and then you can customize it and put in the words that you want and then you send it and it's just so nice and so different so i wanted to share that with you